Hello everybody. I'm going to really quickly send this over to my VIP group. If you are not a chalk drawer designer and you would love to be in the VIP group, please comment VIP below. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can comment that as well. I will give you guys the links on how to follow all of my pages. It is a little dark in here, like I'm not gonna lie. I did turn down my lights a little bit, but now I'm like, oh, maybe I should not have done that. All right, making sure I'm in the right space, I am. All right, I'm gonna send this over to VIP. So we are gonna be redoing the shelf by my front door. I know you guys love seeing that done. Um, we are gonna do Carrot Farm and we are gonna put that on a drop in box frame. And today, we had a mini launch happen. And so we have a bunch of projects and products, I mean, that have come out. And there is a free transfer if you order today. Um, but the problem is, is we've already gotten some stuff that's already selling out. So if you're wanting to get in on some of these deals, you are going to want to snag that. I'm going to try and turn this light up a little bit. Oh, no, I turned it off. Didn't mean that. Let's see if the brightness. There we go. That's a little bit better. I'll move this one up a little bit. I look a little bit dark, but I can't really tell. On my iPad, I don't, but on my um, phone, I absolutely do. So, we are going to do Carrot Farms. This is the second time or the third time we are using this. So, as you can see, it's out of its packaging. And we're just going to write on the back. I wrote on the back already Carrot Farms. I'm just going to do another dash mark so I know, okay, this is the third time I've used it. Much more life left in this. And so we are going to pull out our drop-in piece, and it was done for St. Patrick's Day. So i got to change up all my decor to Easter and spring. So this, there's a little trick to our chalk suede inserts and our paper you will want to wax it first because then it will not, um, it, I don't know, it just seems to work really well and it doesn't tend to bleed and I don't know what it is about the wax that makes it so amazing, but because this isn't really a porous material, but it just works really well with it. So I always wax the inserts first. If you're watching this on a replay, put hashtag replay. If you are catching this live, say hello. You'll see the live rectangle up in the corner. Now I'm going to buff this out. Okay. These can also be painted. They can be, um, obviously, they're double-sided. You get them, and they come in a pack, a three-pack, like this, with a drop-in box frame. And you can buy more inserts. So you can just keep redecorating over and over and over again, which is awesome, right? Really budget-friendly. I love that. Okay, so we are going to fuzz this. Now, as you can see, some of this is kind of got like a stain to it. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's got like a little bit of a hue to the stain of the paste, but it's fine because the silk print is still completely see-through and there's no debris in it. So we are going to fuzz that. The more you use it, the less fuzzing you'll need, of course. All right, so I just noticed, what is it here, from, it looks like, I don't know, it's a weird fiber, it doesn't exactly look like a hair though, it could be just from some other stuff that's been in my office. push this down. Let me move this down so you guys can see better on what I'm doing. So I pulled off two colors off of the shelf. I pulled orange peel and I pulled sage. Now if you are wanting paste singles, orange peel does come in a paste single. Sage does not but eucalyptus does and it's pretty close. You can always do that but I will give you a card link on how we use or what we used here today and all of the fun things and how to order it yourself. So let's pull out all of that. We are going to use a little bit of our placement tape. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So most of this we're going to do in orange peel. 
and I love this orange because it's just it's very vibrant and it's really pretty so I don't know if you guys know but they also have carrots in rainbow colors and we tried them and they are delicious. I never even knew that they had that. And they were so good. Um, but if you wanted to do this without placement tape, this is literally how I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay. I'm going right to that line and kind of stopping. And then I'm going to go over top of this. I'm going to do over top of this part. Near the carrot farm and then if you wanted to and you were like oh no I'm gonna I know I will get that or I don't want of course use a placement tape placement tape is repositionable it's reusable and it's really budget friendly so it's pretty awesome okay so we have that so we're gonna really quickly Jump over to the green. I'm going to pull that up. And I went with a little bit more earthy green. So I went with the sage. Now if you wanted vibrant green, I would go with meadow. That would be the green I would go with. Because that one is just a little bit more of like a grass green. But I kind of wanted this to be a little bit on the earthier side. So I went with that. So I'm going to pull all that off. I'm going to pull this up. Let me get that paste out of the way here. Pull this up. So now we have the carrot farm. Let's close up our paste because you don't want your paste to dry out. So that's why you always want to do that. Now, if you're using paste singles, you don't have to pull all the paste out of them. You absolutely can just cut a little corner um, and then you can just. Um, let the paste dry in the middle or like in the opening or you can take like a um, hair straightener or something like that and you can pinch it and it basically seals that as well so like I said we're going to redo the shelf by the front door and the, and the um, aiding frame at the bottom of my stairs and I will post pictures course as we go along so now I'm going to drop that in this box frame and there is our project I mean look how cute that is right super fun super easy I mean we did that in just a few minutes so what is cool about this is that this whole design right here can sit up on a shelf you can put it this way you can paint this board if you wanted to if you didn't want it to be white absolutely can do that you can change up your decor that's what i love about this so i will give you guys a cart link on how to get all the goodies we used here today and please round up with lots of love at checkout because every penny makes a huge difference um i have some more stuff to talk to you guys about tomorrow about what's love and i will see you guys all tomorrow for an awesome project if you are not a chalk couture designer please click that s-h-a-r-e button spread the love for me and i will talk to you all soon bye guys